Hi, I'm Lauren Berlant, and I'm the editor of Reading Sedgwick, um, out from Duke University Press in 2019. Um, this volume was a labor of love for a lot of different people and a few editors, all of whom got pretty depleted during the time of its inception, and then Eve died, and and then I was sick when the proofs came in, and so many different people did their work, you know, to produce this thing, which was not only a labor of love, but a labor of thought about the ongoing work of queer theory and of Eve Sedgwick in particular. Um, so I'll just, you know, say a little bit here about the, you know, purpose of continuing with the work of queer theory when queer is such a kind of ordinary word and ordinary thing to see in the social world that we inhabit. But how can we use the tools of queer theory from anti-normativity to cultivated practices of care and to concepts of becoming, constantly becoming different in the contemporary moment of vitalized nationalist fascism, white heterosupremacy, and reactivated culture war style homophobia, transphobia, and misogyny? How can we deal with normative disgust at our still creative and rich imaginations for a generous, erotic, and collective political life? What is the body? Why does aesthetic experience expand the potential of the world? How does form itself kind of remediate not only what we see and encounter, but the ways we live? One way we know that Eve was inspiring is that the writing in this book is rigorous, passionate, beautiful, and quite various. From the two distinctly conceptualizing introductions to the volume, to the different critical voices, storytelling, and testifying to the ongoing power of Eve's work, teaching, aesthetics, critical practice, and living in the world go on quite a ride in this anthology. I'm proud to be its editor, and I hope you'll read it, because you'll learn a lot. I did as its editor.